Uh, I love the community. Uh, I've had a great experience here at Oswego State. People have been great to me. Uh, you know, the, the friendships and relationships that have been built over those years, it's, you know, you can't replace that. So it's, it's, it's been really uh, special to be able to, you know, follow in your dad's footsteps, right? Because dad was a coach before me. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's been real cool. Charlie Grigas, uh, 174 pounds, uh, senior, and my major is Adolescent Social Studies Education. Uh, so, Charlie, you're a two-time NCAA qualifier. You know, in 2020, you made it all the way to the tournament, um, but they canceled it before you got to start. Um, you know, how, how did you kind of take that when you were out there? Um, I was obviously really disappointed, me and Christian both were. Um, it kind of just gave me something to work for, though, I'd say, uh, to you know, because they gave everybody All-American status, even though it was, like, unearned. Uh, so that's just something to prove coming back. I mean. What did you uh, take away from last year when you actually made it to the, the national tournament again and you were able to wrestle? It was great being able to wrestle there. I had a couple good matches. Um, losing in the blood round was super frustrating, uh, being to a guy I had beaten. But it, it kind of made me realize that, um, there was a couple guys on that podium that I knew I could hang with, that I could beat. Um, so that's a good confidence booster. I know I belong on that podium. You've been at uh, Swigo State now. This is your fourth year. Uh, you know, you, you've been around Coach Howard. You know what he's gone through. Um, you know, what have you learned from Coach Howard throughout the years and, and seeing what he's kind of gone through outside of outside of wrestling and his personal life? Uh, Howard's an intense guy. You know, he's just he's a fighter. So, you know, his whole battle with uh, prostate cancer – set him back but um he always stayed positive that was his big thing i never saw i've never seen him really like upset or depressed about it or really you know just looking for anybody to hold his hand he's he's got a whole persona that really uh promotes you know the right drive and attitude to have um he always talks about being uh grateful for the opportunity to compete and you know we're here because we want to be here it's not a job or a chore it's you know, we want to be doing this, so that's kind of what he brings to the table. And finally, what are your goals for this year? Obviously, your name's up there on the wall um, as an All-American from that 2020 season. But, uh, you know, this is, you, you know, you're a two-time NCAA qualifier. Uh, what, what are your goals for this season? National championship. My name's Anthony Casson. I am a junior. I wrestle 197 pounds. My major is information science. Uh, you know, so we got some familiar faces here on campus for Oswego State, but there's a bunch of young, hungry freshmen. You know, how's the team looking and feeling after uh, three weeks, and you got one one more week until competition? Um, I love the freshmen. They're very consistent. They're humble. Um, they're ready to get after it every day at practice. So seeing that young energy helps me, you know, come to practice ready to uh, get scrapping and ready to, um, you know, look forward to a tough practice. Um, last year was a little bit of a learning um, curve, you know, starting the year, I think that I was just adjusting to college wrestling, the three minute first period riding time, and you know, seven minutes of, um, of match time. Um, but I think like second half of the year, I learned, um, got used to the adjustments and I think uh, I was striding um, to my best wrestling ability towards the end of the year. I think that now there's like getting used to the college wrestling and you know, hard practices, lifts, and the lifestyle, I think that I could see myself making a bit, uh, dramatic improvement from last year. Why did you choose Oswego State? Um, uh, I chose Oswego State because of Troy, Troy Seymour. I think he saw me at the German Fall Classic, very tough tournament, usually in the preseason of the year. And, you know, we talked for a bit and kept contact throughout the year. And, you know, I saw something that he was doing than other coaches wasn't like he kept contacting me uh, I trusted Troy he kept pushing his agenda he kept calling me texting me and he stayed consistent to the point that I felt like he wanted me more than other coaches and I felt welcome to the team so Charlie Grigas is a two-time national qualifier. Um, you know he's got wins over several All-Americans. You know his name is on that um, the wall uh, in 2020 when that COVID year. Uh, you know what does it 
mean to have a guy like him punch through and get his name on the wall of Americans? Uh, you know, um, yeah, it, it, it legitimizes uh, the process that, that we're doing for everybody involved. So, you know, uh, COVID year, we, we thought him and Christian Gramulia had a good shot at it. You know, Charlie got back there last year and was right there in the round of 12. So, you know, we're looking for him to punch through, like you said, and, you know, be on that podium this year, hopefully at a high spot. So it definitely will, uh, you know, solidify uh, what we're doing here. Um, so having him as a leader is great to see. You're right, him and Bryce Smith were in there um, grinding. And then you got the new guys, Santor just stayed after practice and, you know, was conditioning. And, and Anthony's in the room behind us on the bike still. Um, you know, I, I interviewed him as well. You know, having these guys kind of believing and buying into the process is great to see. Um, you know, how's the team culture been the, the first three weeks of practice, a uh, week away from competition? It, it's been awesome since day one when uh, everybody arrived back in August. So uh, these guys uh, hit the ground running. Uh, with preseason workouts, we had full participation from from the guys. You know, four days a week, and uh, once we hit the mats on October 10th, they they've been uh, magnificent. So uh, it's a great mix, right? We got a great group of returners, and then this freshman class has really energized uh, everybody. So um, we're really excited about the direction the program's headed. What are your goals for this season? Well, always we we want to see improvement, right? So we get, guys are getting better every single day. So if we do that. You know, we'll we'll knock off some quality programs and and be there at the end of the year, uh, ready to qualify guys for the NCAAs, and then you know add some more names to that to that wall in our wrestling room. Coach Seymour, we're one week away from the Lakers taking the mats at the Ithaca Invite. Uh, three weeks into the season so far, you know, what's your, what's your take on this season? Uh, how are the guys looking? Um, well, I mean, this season, I mean, we got a lot of new guys, so um, really, I'm just excited for us to get out there and start competing. Um, I mean. If, it's my first as a coach this year because um, after my first year, we started, uh, we had COVID happen, so we had to take a year off. So this is my first year being able to build off of what we did last year, too. So I'm really excited to get on the mat and compete with these guys. Um, I, I talked to Anthony, and, uh, you know, he, he, I asked him why he chose Oswego State. I talked to Tyler. I talked to a few others. You know, and obviously it was a lot to do with you and Coach Howard. Um, you have a lot of you know, you're recruiting, you're, you're hard on recruiting, right? You're, you're at a tournament. They, he said you were at the uh, Journeyman Fall Classic. Uh, I've seen you at a Nationals down in uh, Virginia Beach, right? You were at New York State Tournament with a, a clipboard. Everybody that you're trying to recruit, uh, you, you know, you got it down. Um, you know, kind of just talk about that and, uh, you know, how important is it for you to see, for wrestlers to see you at tournaments as opposed to just sending them, like, emails and letters? Yeah, well, I mean, it's really important for me to meet them face-to-face because I like to get a chance to know them, too. I mean... Just seeing their stats on paper is one thing, but we like to have good character in this room, and uh, we're trying to build on these athletes' character as long, uh, just as much as their wrestling and their uh, academics outside of here. So, getting able, being, a, uh, getting a chance to know them and um, understand a little bit better of what they're hoping to get out of this experience really helps us, you know, go through that recruiting process and decipher who we want to bring in and have a part of this family got a lot of roots with the program I'm familiar with what coach Howard's doing and you know I know where we've been um I've seen a lot of great teams come through here and we didn't really quite reach our goals so um now getting on the other end of that and being able to coach these guys and trying to help them reach their goals um it's a really cool aspect and you know I think I've been able to help a lot um from my experience and letting these guys know how you know maybe they could help their experience along the way what are your goals for this season my goals for this season are, you know, to keep sending multiple guys to the Nationals. Every year that I've been coaching, we've sent multiple guys to the National Tournament. Um, you know, I want to I want to get 10 guys that are placing at the Conference Tournament. And, um, you know, I want to win some big dual meets at home and away um, against some in-state schools that we haven't been beating over the last few years that I think we're going to compete with this year. Uh, Bryce Smith. Uh, 184 pounder. I'm a junior, and my major is um, uh, adolescent education. Uh, Bryce, you got a two-time NCAA qualifier with Charlie Grigas in the room to practice with. Uh, you guys are scrapping today. Uh, you know, how has it been with him in the room? Oh, it's amazing. He's uh, one of the reasons I came here. Actually, when I came for my visit a couple years ago, I stayed with him, and I knew right then I he was gonna be my partner for the rest of my career. Here. Uh, so I, I'm sure Coach Seymour recruited you, right? Oh, yeah. Section seven guy. Um, you know, what makes Oswego State a special place? Uh, just everything. I like the culture here. You know, it was not the I wouldn't say the greatest, but it was good. But I think we're making it even better. You know, the class right now is coming in and making it even better. Uh, I just like the atmosphere. The weight room's good. The wrestling. Coach Howard's an amazing coach. 
the alumni here is amazing. It's probably the strongest alumni I know. So, yeah, that's probably why. Uh, so the last two All-Americans, uh, right, that actually stood on the podium at NCAAs are both from Section 7 and Section 10. You know, how motivating is it to, to have two of those guys um, with, with Spinner from Malone and uh, Jordan Bushy from Peru? Um, you know, you're obviously a Section 7 guy. Right. How, how motivating is it to, to have those guys on the podium and kind of, you know, you know motivating you to, to reach that as well? Uh, it's definitely motivating. You know, it pushes me even harder just so I can keep that streak going. Section 7, Section 10 doesn't get a lot of respect in New York. So uh, especially seeing these guys going out, then we got the other guys going out to Binghamton. Uh, it's just right now upstate New York is definitely starting to put in that. You know, what have you learned from Coach Howard outside the wrestling room? Obviously, you've been here for three years. You know what he's gone through, um, you know, outside the wrestling room yeah. as well. Um, you know, what, what has he taught you? He uh, definitely taught me never to give up on stuff. Um, you know, school's first in his eyes, too. You know, we uh, push a guy to study all every day. He's just always time management and always going to that next step. And uh, just, you know, wrestling isn't everything, but it's definitely a major part. So he's always looking for that next goal, trying to connect us to the jobs and stuff like that and just keep us good citizens of the community. Nice. And uh, what are your goals for this year? It's actually a national qualifier and get on that podium, you know, so I can be the next Section 7 North Country boy up there. That's right. Anything else you want to add? Uh, no. I think uh, the culture here is amazing, so if you guys are looking for a tight group, you know, come on over. You know, the freshmen, they love it here. Uh, we're always family. We always help each other out. Great. Uh, I'm Tyler Rossini. I'm a freshman at 141. Uh, and I'm majoring in biochemistry. Tyler, three weeks into your freshman season, um, one week away from competition, you know, how are you adjusting to college wrestling? Uh, I'd say I'm adjusting pretty well. Um, I got a lot of good partners in the room so far uh, since I've been here. Everyone's pushing me to really get where I need to be. Yeah, you and uh, fellow Section 2 wrestler Santor uh, of Shaker, you know, you guys are you, you're working your tails off in there, right? Uh, pushing the pace as freshmen, that's great to see. Um, you know, what does it mean to have a fellow Section 2 and journeyman wrestler with Charlie Grigas here uh, in, in the room as a leader? Uh, it really means a lot. He's, uh, Michael's actually my roommate. Uh, we've known each other for a while. We wrestled back in high school a couple of times. Um, wrestling at journeyman together, it really brings a homely feel. Uh, having fellow like Section 2 wrestlers uh, out here uh, in Oswego with me. So if you finished 7th at the New York State Tournament last year for Burnt Hills. Um, you know, what are you looking forward to most this season as a freshman? Uh, really just getting my first look at the college wrestling experience. Um, hopefully, I'm trying to make it to uh, NCAAs, but we're really trying to make it that far. But Why did you choose Oswego State? Uh, Coach Seymour and High Coach Howard are really trying to push the um, making a D3 school uh, program, really feel like a D1 school uh, or program that I just really wanted to be a part of in the end of it. on a show at Ithaca, all right? The, the, the main reason people aren't successful is because they give up what they want most for what they want right now, all right? So think about that a little bit. Keep that tunnel vision on all year long, because it starts next week, and in March, I think we're gonna really put ourselves on the map throughout the whole nation, all right? So let's break it down here. Uh, Andrew, what's that sign set? Because these tunnels are no just for the media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make you a three. One, two, three.